Good day, this is Elpaya. So, sa mga bago pa lang sa channel ko, please subscribe my channel at pakipress na rin sa notification bell para ma-update kayo sa next upload ko. Okay, so this time, i-demo po natin kung paano natin i-connect yung Vivi.net sa MS Access Database. Okay, so... Meron akong database dito na ginawa. Uh, dito ko nilagay sa my documents. And then employee db ayan so sa employee db dito natin makikita yung table natin is table employee at saka meron tayong mga column we have the id, title, first name, last name, gender, birthday hanggang kay ml then meron tayong dalawang record so dito Paano ba natin siya i-connect doon sa MS Access Database? So, una is punta tayo sa titles and then connect to database. And then, sa data source niya is, by default, nakalagay is Microsoft SQL Server SQL Client. So, i-change natin siya since hindi SQL Server yung, yung gagamitin natin database. So, select natin Microsoft Access Database file. Let's click natin OK. Ayan. And then, I-locate lang natin kung saan yung database natin. So, dito, disconnection natin. So, sa akin is nilagay ko dun sa my documents. Ayan. Okay, so meron siya dito. Ganyan connection string. So, i-copy lang natin yung connection string niya. And then, gawa tayo ng module. Add. Uh, module. So, sa akin kasi, yung um, variable ko na gagamitin sa connection ko is nilagay, ilalagay ko sa module para accessible siya sa lahat ng mga form. So, import tayo. So, import then system dot data dot olidb. Ayan. So, ito pa yung reference na gagamitin natin para kay MS Access Database. I-declare tayo ng uh, variable for connection, cn, as new only db connection. Ayan. Tapos, sub connect. Uh, pwede function ang gagamitin natin. Function um, connect to db as boolean. Then, try return false then dito is return true ayan so dito natin lagay yung connection natin with cn dot connection dot connection string ayan and then dot open so, okay so Ayan, nalagay na natin yung connection string natin. So, dito sa kay form 1, so, dito sa form load, punta tayo kay form load, okay din tayo, and then, go to form, punta tayo kay load, so, sa form load natin, tawagin lang natin si connection, if connect to db is equal to true and then message box connected successfully else message box unable to connect Try po natin siya.
Ayan. So, so connected successfully yung nakalagay natin. Or, yung nakalagay dito sa message natin. So, change natin dito yung text niya. Ganitin dito. Uh, database. dito ng status status to label ayan nandiyan yung color natin yung color niya Dito ba status? And LBM status. Tapos dito, magpa-connected siya. LBM status detects. Connected. And this status text uh, that for color color dot yellow. Otherwise, pag hindi siya connected, then disconnected. natin para ng program so ayan so yung status ng database natin is connected try natin i-retrieve yung data so try po natin silang i-retrieve like for example ito sila ayan so sub load records and then we have yung data grid natin data grid v1 the uh, data source and then we have the data grid v1 dot So, so let them here and declare to one variable cm public cm as new holy db command then we have cm uh, new ODDB command so, import muna tayo dito ng ODDB import system dot data dot ODDB and then select asterisk from TBN employee active connection at ECN and then um, create tayo ng data, data adapter and then the uh, new data uh, only give it data adapter and then the DE new um, only 
DB data adapter and then the CM and DF antay ng data set natin so load natin yung data set natin with the DS so yung logical uh, storage natin so this is employee ayan and then data grid v1 dot data source uh, equal to this and then data grid v1 dot data member so equal to employee and then with the data grid v1 dot uh, data grid v1 dot auto process colon ayan and then the data grid data grid data grid v auto auto column mode dot all cells ayan we have the data grid view grid v1 dot columns and this column 0 dot um uh, cell dot value yung value niya is una is the title ayan Python and then name last name and the birthday and this is the code So, solve it natin dito. So, connected load records. So, try natin. Okay, so, uh, ayan. The ID, title, first name, last name, ginger, birthday, address, uh, zip code, phone number. So, so we have possible, so I'm going to do it too. And then we have the, okay. Okay, so my time record. ID, we have the ID. Ayan. So, ito po yung data na galing dun sa ating um, MS Access Database. Okay. So, that's it. Thank you for listening.